Happy Thanksgiving. Hope you're all having a great holiday. I just wanted to do a quick shave. Um, we're headed over to my aunt's house for Thanksgiving. And gotta get cleaned up here. So today I'm going to be shaving with the Citrus Tide shave soap. And I'm gonna be using my new Open Comb DE. This thing's pretty awesome. Um, the blades that I'm using today are going to be a Parker blade. My buddy David from Urban Shave, um, he's good friends with Parker, gave me a pack of these Parker blades. And I'm actually pretty impressed by them. They work pretty well. Um, and this is my classic Buckeye Burl blue and silver resin handle. This was one of my first hybrid razors. I made this thing about four years ago and uh, still, still holding up awesome. Now, <clears throat> when you're putting these razors together, um, they're just a, a three piece. So you drop the blade onto the, the head, put the base plate on, and then you just screw them together. That's all there is to it. Let's go ahead and get started. So, Citrus Tide. Now this one is really cool. It's uh, all essential oil based, so there's no fragrances involved in this one at all. Um, the artwork on the label is from my dad, John Waters. If you ever need an illustrator or anything, that's what my dad does for a living, uh, drop me a message and I can get you in touch with him. His uh, Instagram handle is jfreelancer. Check him out. <laughs> He's a writer, an artist, an illustrator. He does all kinds of cool stuff. Now I usually start out with, um, I just fill up the tub with some hot water and get the soap wet. You don't really have to let it soak too long. My soap is a semi-soft hard soap, so it loads very easily um, and it lathers really pretty quick. I'm going to be using my marble wood leather bowl. This one's a fairly old one. Um, I made it in 2016. Still holding up good. Uh, the, the most important thing with these wood bowls is you just dry them off when you're done and then the finish will easily last pretty much forever. I'm going to be using my 26 millimeter Plisson and a Buckeye Burl blue and silver resin handle. It's good stuff. Love this brush. Four years now and uh, still like it's brand new. So these brushes, the synthetic fibers, you don't really have to let them soak. You can just get them in the hot water then load your brush and start lathering. Um, I usually use a washcloth to warm up my face before shaving. Oh, that feels good. Oh. And after getting my face warmed up, I take the bloom water from my soap tub and I just pour it on the rag and then just kind of Rub it in, loosen up the hair follicles a little bit, warm up your face. Shake the water off of your brush so that it's not dripping. And then you just lather it up. Load your brush for a couple seconds. Like I said, it doesn't take much. Um, that's pretty much good enough right there. Don't need much more than that. And then you can start lathering in the bowl. Like I said, pretty quick. Now, I really like the citrus tide. It's lemon, lime, and sweet orange oil. It's all essential oil based. Really nice citrusy 
fragrance. Um, excuse me, I'm trying to kind of look in the mirror here and there. <clears throat> My soaps are made with stearic acid, coconut oil, cocoa butter, shea butter, mango butter, castor oil, and bentonite clay. <clears throat> make a super rich, super creamy leather. That's good enough right there. This is about two days of growth. Um, this open comb just really gets it. So, a lot of guys like me, um, this is like the dividing line from the direction of hair growth. So basically, I start on one side, and I go down until I feel that little tug right there. And that's my stopping point, for my hair type, at least. And then I'll go up, just to where that stopping point was on the first pass. Um, usually that keeps me from getting any like in ground hairs on my neck or any irritation at that point. So I just got this new camera. It's a Canon EOS M50 and so far I'm digging it. What do you guys think? I think, we, I think the image looks pretty good. All right, that's that. <clears throat> same brush, same old lather that was on there before and just another touch up it's a little cold so I'm just gonna dip in some hot water and go back to it all right check this out Whoa. that's a lot of lather that was what, like a three second load on the brush. Look at all this lather that we get. On the second pass, I typically go across the grain. And then I'm usually good there. I don't like to go against the grain ever. Not too much on my neck. All right. Oh. Well, is this a little thing that I like? It's called Gentleman John. It's an album block. Um, these guys, they are based out of New York. Said tuck it, New York, and it's an Allen block. Um, I really like it. Just dip it in some cold water, and I usually just every time I shave, 
Purdue pass over my entire face, and uh, that I find that it helps really kind of just, just prevent any irritation. Or if I got any nicks, because I do have eczema, um, I do get dry patches and some acne, and when I shave, sometimes I nick and nick those dry patches of skin. So, just quick pass with the Allen block, and uh, no blood. And I usually rinse that off with cold water after. And today I'm going to be using my sandalwood aftershave. It's good stuff. My aftershave is just a nice subtle astringent toner and moisturizer built into one. There's no alcohol, doesn't sting or burn, it's just nice. It's soothing. Oh. Oh, it's good stuff. It feels nice and fresh. It's a witch hazel olive. Berry juice, glycerin, and rose water. And um, that's it. Hope you guys have a good Thanksgiving. See you.